Hi, back on Solus 121 Budgie. We have been making about 20 tutorials on ericdubois.be about Solus and how to get you started with scripts and all that. Actually, we are going to keep on Solus, but this time I'm going to show you that you can install not the Budgie uh, desktop, but the i3 desktop. Why? Well, the i3 desktop has been moving along with me. That's to say, I started uh, i3 on Arch Linux, then I went to Antergos, then I tried installing i3 on Linux Mint, then I tried installing Ubuntu on 16.10, and you know what? It's everywhere the same desktop, it's everywhere the same skill set you need. It's a little bit um, adapting from time to time, but in essence, 99% of what you're doing is the same. So whatever system is underneath it, i3 stays i3. You can make it beautiful or ugly. It's up to the user how you want to, to have a wallpaper or, or have transparent panels and all that. But it's less of a design and more of a functional uh, desktop system. So that's the idea to show you guys uh, is it possible at all to have i3 on this uh, solar system? I say yes, I say it's possible on all Linux distributions and that's the fun of it. And let's start. Okay. Nothing is open. You go to Google and you type GitHub Eric Dubois. And we're going to download all the scripts and all the elements we're going to need because I'm going to set you, I'm going to give you already a complete i3 setup. So, like I said, git up, Eric Dubois, and if you want to if you say even more, ultimate source. Probably the first hit then. So, we don't need to go into a setup git sh here. So, best is to go over here. There was a better link. So repositories, you see a lot of i3s, maybe a good idea to type i3. So lots of scripting going on here in concerning i3. But this, the one we want is not actually called i3. It's a directory in ultimate source. It's this one we're going to need. So we're going to download this. Okay. Then we're gonna go to the system. We're gonna press Ctrl Shift I, delete. And now everything is inversed and I can select it and that's deleted. Extract here, ultimate source master. So here's the thing I need. And there's another thing I need. Let's get rid of this, all these pop-ups. Everything gone, nope, voila. There is somewhere in here, a script to install mate and a script to install i3 so we have three desktops uh, you can install there's even one more i guess i'll do it later so install i3 has been tested already you just have to roll out what do you do right mouse click open in terminal and you have a transparent terminal so you can read it starts with install and then i3 and that's it that's enough now he knows what to install while that's what while it's doing that, yep. Let's take a look at the code. Quick look. Get rid of the rest. Yeah, I should update. So this is a great time to update. Wrong icons from screen fetch or something. I got it. Voila, saved already. In the meantime, we're already done. We can actually just start already using i3, but let's go into it. So it's going to other screen, I'm going to install a an, an messaging element, i3, i3 blocks, blocks is for a toolbar underneath, lock is to lock something, uh, to log in and log off, status also the bar, D menu is your menu system, Alex appearance to change your wallpaper, xprop to know what the name is of your wallpaper fee is for your variety to have wallpapers changing and terminator is to have an other uh, terminator uh, terminal one is gnome terminal in 
the settings for budgie and I've chosen terminator to have that one in the other one so okay so we have two terminate uh, two terminals now <laughs> not two terminators that's it I just installed the system how easy can it be now what's left to do this is all the knowledge I've been building up for I don't know two years I guess now more or less so you just copy it to now it comes where should we copy it Control H you copy it to config and there you put it in config in the dot config file and there you paste it so the system knows when you log off and log on again that when then it is going to look in the hidden config folder for this name and what it's going to do is going to read this one these are all alternatives but this is the one that's actually read okay so um, yeah I should log off I can't film that so when you log off then well I can show you that already when you log off log out then you have a pop-up again to with your login and your password and at the top right there is a possibility to change from budget to i3 now so once you've installed an other desktop it's there to select it the same with mate okay so i'll end the movie here and we'll go to i3